action. Hey Gators, my name is Sydney. I'm one half of the aquatic student management team at San Francisco State University. We've definitely been missing the pool during quarantine, so here's a great workout to help engage your core and get your streamline going. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We wanna make sure our core is nice and warmed up and ready to be engaged. So we're gonna start out with 10 jumping jacks. So right here, if that's too hard or you have bad knees or anything, you can just go ahead and step it out. So make it nice and easy for yourself. Step it out, but still getting that cardio going. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do 10 push-ups. Once again, we're gonna to wanna to really engage that core and get it moving. I'm gonna be honest, really bad at push-ups, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my knees. If you can do full push-ups though, go ahead and feel free to do it that way. I'm gonna do it on my knees just for today. This is also the modified version. So go ahead and drop down to your knees. Make sure your hands are centered in your shoulders and go ahead and drop it nice and low. Arms at 90 degrees and then back up. Keep that butt flat. You don't wanna arch it like that. Nice and low and level and back down like that. All right, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a nice quick 30 second plank hold high, 30 second plank hold low. Once again, getting that core nice and engaged for this streamlined workout. So go ahead and start high, push up position like normal, just like this, keeping our arms straight, keeping our core engaged, keeping those glutes nice and tight. Hold it for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a low plank, same thing. Make sure you don't stick that butt up or hang those hips low. Make sure you keep it nice and held tight. So just like this, nice and tight and level. All right, go ahead and stop. All right, Gators, let's go ahead and get into our main set. First things off, because this is a streamlined workout, we gotta incorporate that streamline somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our arms up, squeeze our ears nice and tight, squeeze our booty, squeeze our abs, and we're gonna make sure we're nice and tight. And we're just gonna hold this streamlined position for 20 seconds. It's gonna really engage our core and get those muscles going, all right? Make sure you squeeze those ears tight. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some leg raises. So you're gonna go ahead and lay down on your back. And with our leg raises, what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise both of your legs up straight to a 90 degrees, and we're gonna do this 20 times. So you're gonna to wanna to hold your legs here, right up to 90 degrees, back down. Up to 90 degrees, back down. Up, back down, all right? If you want an extra added challenge, you can go ahead and squeeze in that once again, that streamline, and do the same thing, leg raises, straight up back down all right last thing we're going to do is we're going to do our superman hold except this time we're going to add it a little bit we're going to keep holding that streamline so we're going to go here hold that streamline out nice and tight and we're just going to lift hold for two seconds drop back down hold for two seconds if you need to do it modified no worries don't worry about holding that streamline but just lift straight up back down we really want to get our chest and our thighs off the ground so go ahead streamline up back down up back down and we're gonna do that for a total of 20 times and then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds all right once you guys have rested for 30 seconds we're gonna move into the second part of that main set we're gonna go ahead and go back down to doing push-ups we're gonna do 10 push-ups once again so same thing I'm gonna still continue on my knees it's the modified version or you can do full push-ups like this I'm gonna go ahead and do my 10 so drop down 90 degrees next thing we're gonna do after you do your 10 push-ups you're gonna do your flutter kicks for 30 seconds so you're gonna flip over on your back. Once again, you can do the modified where you're just streamline hold while flutter kicking, or you can keep your elbows back like this and just keep those legs up. You don't wanna be super high up here, but you also don't wanna be like kicking the ground. So keep it, hold it nice and tight, engage that core, and we're gonna flutter kick for 30 seconds. Nice quick kick, so one, two, three, four, all the way to 30 seconds, all right? The last thing we're gonna do, once again, is that streamline hold. When we get there again, stand back up, Engage that core, squeeze those ears and squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Then rest again for 30 seconds. Action. All right, after you've rested again for 30 seconds, we're gonna get into the last part of our main set. This time we're gonna be doing squat jumps, streamline hold again, and some more push ups. With that squat jump, we're gonna wanna do a streamline squat jump. So, what we're gonna do, squeeze our ears nice and tight. When we squat, we're gonna wanna sit in a low seat as low as we can go, and we're gonna explode up. If you need to do it modified, just go ahead and come back up and lift to those toes onto your ball of your toe. And then what you're gonna do, if you are not doing the modified, you're gonna squat and jump. This is gonna practice exploding off the block and it's gonna get those legs engaged, all right? Hold that streamline for an extra challenge. Squat low, jump up. Next thing we're gonna do, streamline hold again for 20 seconds. Squeeze the booty, squeeze the abs, streamline hold for 20 seconds. Last section we're gonna do, more push-ups. So go ahead and drop it back down. 
either to your feet like this or back to your knees and go ahead and drop and push up. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those. Once you finish this whole thing, all three sections all the way through, you're gonna repeat it three to five times for a full workout and then cool down. Make sure you drink lots of water, Gators. If you're outside where your air quality is poor, stay indoors, it could totally be done indoors, but we got a noisy inside, so we're gonna go and bring it outside. All right, stay safe, Gators. We hope to see you soon.